so horror show! That was one of those zap spiders I told you about! Always kill it kind first! Got it! Spasibo! I told you it didn't work without the generators on! It's worth a try! Torches. Yes, we should have.
I'm in the generator room. Okay. Now find the master switch. Roger. Nebdurna. Get over it. Anyway, how did these electric abominations come to be? I guess this place is just cursed. <laughs> Though with so much radiation and anomalies around, it's not surprising. Yeah, that's true.
Roger, Ed. I'm on it. Skidditsa. I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up the vents to get here. Acknowledged. Ugh. <sighs> 
this. I thought it'd be easier. Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. Damn. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. I do understand why people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Senor! 
Still manning the gate? Give me a break. Yes, sir. It's me. Well, open up if that's the case. Yes, Captain, sir. Opening up. I'm really happy to see you back, Captain, sir. Me too. Me too. Sam, before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There is a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, son. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, comrade captain. I'm so glad so to see I, you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry. But you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right. I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, comrade captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. I always knew you'd go far.
They gotta search this one too. No need. Sam is with us. Glad you're here, Sam. Well, hello there, Cap. How long has it been? Huh? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Well, could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise out there? Everyone on board, you're completely surrounded. Surrender and come out with your hands above your hands. What is the meaning of this? I'm one step ahead of you. Now put this man. Did you think I had no idea you were going to get rid of me? Do I look blind to you or dumb? No. At the moment, you look like a dog that's gone rabid and needs to be put down. <laughs> Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. And you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Can we do that? Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Thanks. 